To explain that, we have to introduce the concept of free fall. So let's use this model of the Earth. And let's enlist the help of a friend, Paxi. You might know her. Paxi, hello Paxi. Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, March 28th, 2016. And in this video, I've been asked to look at a clip from a NASA ISS video. And I've been asked whether the clip is a result of CGI effects or if it is a simple editing effect. Um, now, in, answer, in order to answer this question, I'm going to need to conjure up a prop. <coughs> and I thought, what better to use than a globe of the Earth just to keep the flat Earth believers happy? Okay, so I've got the video in question queued up and we're going to play it and the section where the soft toy prop appears is going to loop so that we can take a closer look. So let's take a look at that now. And up in the top left hand corner you're about to see the soft toy appear. There it is. And now we're going to watch that part of the clip looping over. Now I want you to notice that above the astronaut's head there is a shadow that appears. Here it is here. And when she takes the prop down, the shadow is gone. Okay, so now the fact that the shadow is there before the, the prop appears until she takes it down tells me that the prop was actually there all along. But the corner of the video where the prop is uh, waiting to be taken down is actually hidden from our view by overlapping a part of the original video. Now I'm going to show you how that is done. Now here is my little demo video that I created, opened in Pinnacle Studio 12. And as I scrub through, you can see where I get to the point where the globe suddenly appears. Right there. So how did I make it magically appear? Well, what I did was I took a section of the video after I had taken the globe off the tripod that I was using to sit it on, I copied that section and I reinserted it into the video as an overlaid image. So this section here that is highlighted now is the piece that I used and I copied that and then I inserted that down here as a second layer. I copied and pasted it several times and I used the 2D editor to crop the image. So what I'm going to do is hide the section from our eyes and now you can see that the globe is there all along. The other thing that you'll notice is that there is a little shadow down there that the globe has cast and the shadow appears when we see the globe. So when I hide it we can't see the shadow. Now I'm going to hide the top layer and now you can see what's going on. If I scroll down here where I've got the setting for cropping, you can see that I've got the right side cropped and I can adjust this by moving the setting here. So I just crop the bit that showed me holding the globe and use this part here and I lined it up with a nice dark part of the curtain there and overlaid it so that wasn't until I used the dissolve to bring back the background that we see the top layer. There it is. So the globe was there all along just like in the ISS video. Now this is not CGI as such because CGI normally means that objects are created that aren't actually there. In this case, this is a real object that has just been hidden from view. It's a very simple editing technique, as you can see. And again, it is just used to jazz up the video to make it more visually interesting. But of course, the flat earthers and the conspiracy nutters are pouncing on it and claiming it to be proof that the ISS is a fake, it's all a hoax and all the rest of it. For goodness sake, apparently all the videos have to be shot without any fades or wipes or dissolves or any sort of effects because then that means that it's proof of a conspiracy. 
As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.